Who cut the cheese? <laughs> back with another episode of Testing Tasty. Chris is somewhere around here. Hello. Where'd you come from? The power of editing. <laughs> today, I made my own mac and cheese that I've been making for years. And today, I've gone the much smarter route of making Tasty's ultimate mac and cheese. What, what makes it so ultimate, Nick? Well, Chris, have you heard of one cheese mac and cheese? Yes. How about two and three? Yeah. Four, five, and six? Of course. Well, Tasty's mac and cheese is seven mm. cheese mm. mac and cheese. No! <laughs> Let's get tasty. Least before best, we're going to try Chris's. What? So I'm going to bite into Chris's right here. Chris, while I take this bite, why don't you explain what the heck is yours? Well, it's macaroni. I made a roux, I put sharp cheddar and parmesan in there. And then there's ricotta and there's mozzarella inside. There's just all, there's four cheeses, not seven. But now I feel inadequate. You shouldn't feel inadequate. You should feel worse than inadequate. <laughs> Mine's beginning to look a lot better now. So Tasty's mac and cheese starts out similar to what Chris's starts out with, with a roux. But on the side, I'll be cooking bacon, green onions, parsley, and panko breadcrumbs. Then after the roux is done, I throw in the mac and cheese, and then I throw in cheddar cheese, gruyere cheese, parmesan cheese, colby cheese, provolone cheese, and gouda. After all that, I mix that all together, I throw it in a pan, I put more parmesan on top, and more mozzarella on top, and then I throw it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes, and then I take it out and you garnish it with that lovely bacon panko breadcrumb mixture. How is it, Chris? It's good. It's got seven cheeses. You can tell they're all mixed together, but there's one ingredient that's missing from this, Nick. What is that, Chris? Love. There's not enough love in this mac and cheese. Is there enough cheese? There is cheese. This would give you diarrhea or constipation at the same time. It's like a lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This this bag of cheese is bomb, and you know it is because it's, it's. Is this the mission statement of Tasty? To make home cooks feel inadequate, to make them feel like whatever they've been doing for years isn't good enough, to make them feel like whatever we've been actually trying to accomplish our entire life is just not enough. Good job, Tasty. What would you give the Tasty recipe? Recipe. I give the Tasty recipe a five out of five today because it is amazing. <laughs> what would you give the Tasty mac and cheese in comparison to your mac and cheese, Chris? Four and a half out of five. That gives Tasty's mac and cheese a 4.75 out of five. This is so good. What about my mac and cheese, Nick? Your mac and cheese is like a solid, you know, two and a half. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button below, ring the bell over off to the side or wherever the heck it is. I think it's down there actually. Ring that bell to remind yourself Whenever we post a new video, you get the notification. Then, subscribe below so you can watch how many awesome videos we come out with every single week. And the next time you make mac and cheese, make it tasty. Deuces.